An Italian company that in the past joined the fight against Ebola has signed an agreement with Oxford University to develop a vaccine for coronavirus. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is one of 150 in development globally, but is considered the most advanced. First trial results suggest that the vaccine produces a good immune response in volunteers without serious side effects. Well, Euronews spoke to the managing director of the Italian company that worked on the project. Giorgio Landi reports. Facing the threat of a second wave of COVID-19 infections, Italian researchers have joined the race to develop a vaccine that fights off the coronavirus. The IRBM group, based just outside of Rome, contributed to the production of the first two doses of the experimental vaccine developed by AstraZeneca and scientists at Oxford University. Results of the drug's initial clinical trials have been encouraging. In, they are positive as they show that not only the vaccine is safe, but also that there has been a strong immune response. It induced antibodies in more than 90% of the individuals after just one dose, and 100% in the case of those who got a second dose, which is a very strong result. But there is still a long way to go before the vaccine is ready to be approved. Human trials are still underway. Although the drug has been used on infected individuals, it remains to be seen how much virus protection it will actually provide. And large-scale distribution won't begin before the end of the year. The biggest challenge in the case of this vaccine and other vaccines that are being developed is the need to increase the scale of production in a limited period of time. As the virus spreads so quickly, potential patients could be anyone. We're talking about 7.5 billion people around the world. One single group being in charge of that is simply not enough. AstraZeneca has signed an agreement with some European countries to deliver the first batch of 60 million doses by the end of the year. 400 million will be available by 2021. But researchers say the race to complete the vaccine isn't a competition. Each candidate project is moving forward as fast as possible while cooperating and sharing information with others which we rarely see happen in normal circumstances. Individuals who are more at risk of catching the virus and people with pre-existing health conditions will likely be prioritised to receive the inoculation first. But as of today, it's hard to say how long it will take to make the whole world's population immune to the virus. Giorgio Orlandi, Euronews, Rome.